Welcome back to Learn Economia. In this video, we are going to see the consequences of multicollinearity. We have seen what multicollinearity is and the possible causes of multicollinearity were also, were also discussed, right? So, in this video, having discussed the meaning and the causes of multicollinearity issued, we have to look into the consequences of multicollinearity. For those people who are who uh, have not uh, watched the video with respect to the meaning and causes of multicollinearity. Uh, I'll be providing the links of both these in the description box so that you can use the same and uh, come back to the uh, video which discusses the consequences of multicollinearity. Okay, uh, we have seen that multicollinearity is an issue faced when while you run uh, uh, regression, multiple regression analysis and your independent variables are correlated. Uh, you have to understand that you can dictate your multicollinearity issues by using certain ways and uh, if you look into your R or R square you can see whether you have a multicollinearity issue or not. If the correlation coefficient which is indicated by cap small letter R if it is uh, uh, exactly plus 1 or minus 1 you can see uh, whether there is perfect multicollinearity or not. Right. If it is plus one, you have positive multicollinearity, and if it is minus one, you have negative multicollinearity. Right. So that is the difference between positive and negative. And if your R is uh, close to or exactly uh, minus one or plus one, you can remove uh, certain uh, variables from your models and run uh, this uh, autocorrel. Uh, there's a what to say uh, correlation again, and you can check whether. Uh, after the after you have uh, transformed your model, whether your model is still facing the issue of multicollinearity. It's common for multicollinearity uh, to uh, show its uh, face in many observational studies uh, where while you have experimental data with you. So we can see that uh, if you have the problem of multicollinearity, your model will be yielding you unstable and unreliable uh, regression. As a result, it will be having several consequences in your model. So what all are the consequences which you have to face when you face a problem of multicollinearity in your model? Your t statistic will be very small and the confidence intervals will be very wide. Uh, so uh, in this case, uh, it is harder for you to reject the null hop hypothesis. Uh, so you, uh, when you have the problem of multicollinearity, you will definitely face this issue. And also your partial regression coefficient might be an imprecise estimate. As a result, your standard errors would be very large. Since uh, uh, you have multiple variables in your model, multiple independent variables in your models, your partial regression coefficients uh, will be uh, giving you some uh, inefficient indica indication. Okay. And also the multicollinearity issue will make you uh, difficult I mean give will give you difficulties to gauge the effect of independent variables on dependent variables. Also you can see that uh, the variance covariance uh, 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 these things would be wider and as a result of the same it would be difficult for you to uh, reach a statistical decision whether to accept your null hypothesis or whether to accept your alternative, uh, alternative hypothesis. And also the confidence interval would be wider uh, we have already said that and in the presence of multicollinearity your standard other error and this is something which will go on increasing or this is something which would increase and, and, uh, and also as we have already said your t statistic uh, that will get smaller. Multicollinearity will increase um, the R square as well and this will indicate that your goodness of fit of the model would be hampered uh, 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 very much badly. So that's all about today's session, the consequence of multicollinearity. You can um, be a part of my Telegram group and the Telegram channel to discuss your doubts and you can like, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.